Hey guys, it's Renee, and this is my video response for Sybil B's To Die For Challenge. Um, this is the second time I've tried to do this video. Um, the first time my family came home in the middle of it, so I had to quit. But, um, uh, the first dies I'll show you is where I keep my, um, Sizzix Biggs dies. And they're just in one of these, um, three-tier plastic drawer units. And I honestly don't use these much at all. Um, I couldn't tell you the last time I used one. But um, down here I have some Tim Holtz dies, and uh, most of these Sizzix ones are um, holiday dies, Halloween, and then I have um, Valentine's ones in my drawer where I have all the Valentine stuff. Um, I have a couple of the on the edge dies, and I have the Tim Holtz um, paper bag die, and I had to have it, and yeah, I haven't, I think I cut it once, <laughs> just to see. Um, I have some of these Sizzix Sizzlet dies that I've never used, um, but I got all these whenever Sizzix had their um, big sale, and I don't even remember how many I got for super dirt cheap, so couldn't pass them up. Um, I also have down here my my cutting plates, like for the the long ones and the on the edge dies, and um, I have an extra regular plate. And whenever I get these. Um, when I open them, I cut the picture off the front and um, just stick it on there so I can see what it looks like. Because um, sometimes I just need the, you know, to know what they had in mind for it, like this one, how they piece it together and stuff. So that is all of those. And yeah, I don't use these much at all. Probably should, but I don't know. Um, so now I'm going to move you on to my desk. Hopefully I don't move too much. And up here I have my big kick. Um, I did a lot of research before I chose which machine I wanted to get this or the uh, cuddle bug and I decided on this and I got a really good deal from Michaels I think I paid like 40 some bucks for it and um, whenever I use mine I only cut on one plate at a time so like this one's it's not dirty it's just uh, from using it it's not clear like it used to be so I cut on this one all the time and then this one's about done it's warped and you know, pretty cut up. So when I decide I'm done with this one, I'll throw this one away and then make this one my cutting plate and pull my extra one out and use that for my top plate. So that way hopefully they last a little longer. And I saw that on, uh, oh, I think it was Scrapbooking Made Simple had said that whenever I was looking for my machine. I watched some of her videos. So I also have the Sizzix um, magnetic platform, and I wanted this really bad, and I'm still not sold on it. I don't know if maybe I'm not using it for the right purpose, but whenever I cut out like a bunch of flower shapes to make flowers, I try and use this one, and the die always wants to go to where the magnet is. So I think maybe it's not exactly what it's meant for. It's probably more for like stamping and then cutting out that image. And I haven't done that with it yet, so hopefully when I do some of that, I'll like this better. Let me move this out of the way. The rest of my dies I keep on the top of my desk right here. I have two binders up here. This one is my die binder. 
and I totally stole my storage idea from Nicole, Colby's 1981. Uh, mine is a little different from hers, but she's where I got the idea from. Um, this binder came from Target, and I absolutely love the, I just love the pattern on it. So, I wanted to use it. I had stamps in here, and the pages that I changed my stamps to didn't work. They stuck out. So, this came, became my die binder. And, um, so what I have, this is just one of the, uh, some of the embossing pads, and I just have them stuck in here because they needed a place to go, and I still had room. But, um, these pages are something like eight and three quarter by five and three quarter, I think. Um, but in each page, I cut a super thin piece of uh, black chipboard, and actually, it's no, it's not what it was. I think it's even thinner than that. It's just really thin chipboard that I wouldn't use for really making anything. And I just put those in between each in each page just to give it a little extra strength. But then my dies are on the magnetic um, vent covers. And because of the size of these pages, I could just cut the vent covers into threes. And they fit you know pretty well in here there's a little bit of space around them but not much so the dies I have um, I believe this is a cherry Lynn design die and it's um, like the half butterfly you cut it on a fold and it um, cuts both sides this one is a Sizzix die and I've never used this one yet, but I just loved it and had to have it. And <laughs> yeah, I haven't used it yet, but um, it's in the front, so hopefully I will. And it came with its own little crease pad, which I've never used one of those, so I'll have to see. Um, so all of these in the front are all my Diamond Dies dies. And since I'm on the design team, I have them all. And uh, they're just really great dies. They cut perfect. Um, I'm getting into this one. I wasn't, I had a hard time with it, but it makes these roses. This is the realistic rose die, and this one's made with the large die, and then this is the small die. So I've been working really hard with that one to um, make some flowers. But all my diamond dies are in the front because I use those the most. And actually, before I was on the design team, I didn't use dies hardly at all. I had just got my machine, and now I use my machine all the time. Um, so some of my favorite dies are the um, Winter Snowflake set. I love the snowflakes. And these um, fall leaves. And... I label all of my pages. Let me take one out. Up in the corner I have the company and then a list of all of the die names. And I tried to do them in order of how I have them on the page, but you know they're pretty it's pretty obvious what each one are, and I just use my label maker to do that and it has been working out really well for me so far. Um, there's the window die that was so excited about and I need to do more with it. I haven't done a whole lot with it yet. Um, another one of my favorites is the fishtail banners die set and I love this. It's another nesting die set and it's a diamond dies. And this is one of the newer ones. And also this one here. I Not really my style, but when I cut it out, I just love it. And I've used it on a couple different things already. And then the filigree heart 
I love and it cuts out all of those little pieces. It's a great die. Um, and then these are all my spell binders and I just have them so the the film strips at the top so I put the label at the top and then this one is the nesting pennants and I just put it down at the bottom so I can keep track of everything. And because of the size I can pretty much get two sets depending on how big they are on a page. Like this one's just huge and this one I got off the scrapyard and it's supposed to be big scallop squares and it doesn't nest at all. So I don't know if that's how the die actually is or if I got like a mixed batch of them from somebody on the scrapyard but I mean they're still usable. I, it's not like I'd use them all at once anyway. Um, so yeah I just have them two on a page if possible. I love the postage stamp die. I use this one quite a bit. And some of these I've never used at all. <laughs> and then my newest ones are these Lawn Fawn dies. I didn't have any. I just got them and I can't wait to start using this alphabet set on something. And then I have the stamp to go with this one, so I want to try out my magnetic, um, oh my, you know, this thing. I want to try that out on there and see how it works with stamping and cutting. So that is how I store my dies, and I just did this not that long ago, and it has really been working out well for me. Um, especially with using them so much, I can flip right to them and slide the page out, get the die I need, and slide it back in, and I'm good to go. So that is it, guys. I hope this helped you if you do need a, an idea for um, storing your dies or, I don't know, seeing dies you don't have. So... Thanks for the challenge, Sybil, and I am enjoying seeing everyone's storage solutions. I love seeing that because I have a very small space, so any new ideas for storage is always great. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.